733, just out of curiosity, what's your uh, destination? Uh, we're going to uh, Alpha X-Ray Victor. Is there a fly-in going on there today? <laughs> uh, just a group of guys from uh, Sky Park going over there to uh, see the museum and grab lunch. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I just uh, got a third guy on his way inbound uh, to the airspace going there, too, so I was just curious. Yeah, I'm the slowest, so I got out first. Oh, no. I got one plane and I like it. It's pretty cool flying a plane somewhere for the day, but it's even better when you meet six other planes filled with your friends out there, and that's exactly what we did. Traffic, 596 from Gulf, putting on lane 3, Skybark. Alright, on the runway, okay, directional drive set, car beats off, 10 degrees of flaps. Alright, okay, we'll make a full power, edge of gauge is out on the green. The original plan was to do a group flight out to Niagara Falls, but the weather wasn't that great over there. So instead we decided to head west to Wapakoneta, Ohio to tour the Neil Armstrong Air and Space Museum. It ended up being a blast, and if you didn't check out the vlog from that day, you definitely should. To my left is one of my best friends, Michael Kegel. You might remember him from some of our other videos, and I'm sure you'll see a lot more of him on the channel in the future. I do not, but I know I have an idea where he is. He should be too on like 11 o'clock-ish. We weren't quite near, we were about four miles away from him. Good morning, man, for the post on the move, 1666 Victor. November 1622, Victor Mansfield for the approach, Mansfield altimeter 3018. November 1666, Victor, and we are about six miles to the north of the Wayne County Airport, 4,100 for 4,500, we're Cessna 172, like the upper flight following to Alpha X-ray Victor. Number 66 Victor Radar contact, uh, six miles north of Wayne County Airport, maintain a VFR, and uh, just say your altitude again for me. Uh, we're at 4,700, working our way down to 4,500, 66 Victor. Number 66 Victor, roger, traffic 12 o'clock, four miles, uh, southwestbound 3,500, indicated type unknown. 66 Victor's looking. <laughs> That's rich. Yep. We got any sky parkers on fingers? Yeah. I'm here, buddy. What's up? Just doing a run up. All right, we'll see you down there. Yeah, we got him on the ground. <laughs> Are you in the area? 4,500, almost over Ashland. 
Oh, all right, I'll be up off, off the ground in about five. All right, we got a monster headwind. Three. He'll still probably pass us anyway. <laughs> All right, so we were just talking. What do you guys think? This is just totally hypothetical right now. What if we flew around the world together? If we got some sponsors and got a plane and... What do you guys think? Can we make it happen? Can you make it happen? Can you help us? No. What's that? Because we're broke. <laughs> <laughs> so let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you guys have any ideas of like... Something we can do unique or different during that trip, like yes, uh, airplane-wise or something right. different than what, what what's been done before, you know? Right. Like I, obviously, it's been done. It's no secret that it can be done. But w what can we do to spice it up? Right. I mean, it's done. It been done in Bonanzas, two tens. I, right. I was thinking, what else can we do? Right. A new plane, a new airplane, or, or an older plane? Right. I mean. No open cockpit by plane. Yeah. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. <laughs> I think a new a new diamond would be cool. Like a, a DA forty or a DA forty two or something like that. Right. Number seven three three, just out of curiosity, what's your uh, destination? Uh, we're going to uh, Alpha X ray Victor. Is there a flying going on there today? <laughs> uh, just a group of guys from uh, Sky Park going over there to uh, see the museum and grab lunch. Okay, I got you. Yeah, I just uh, got a third guy on his way inbound uh, to the airspace down there, too, so I was just curious. Yeah, I'm the slowest, so I got out first. Oh, no. I got our traveling group. This is one of the We're going to go there also. 209 to Whiskey. Howdy, Jeff. What's going on? Just uh, part of the pattern uh, south of Chippewa Lake, and I'm on my way. I'm sure you guys are much further ahead of me. Good day. One two six point three five. Oh, Ford, Ford's behind you, buddy. That's Optimus. That's Ford? That's just I did, oh, it's not. Gotcha. All sounds good. Breaking news: We just passed the only cloud in Northeast Ohio. <laughs> Twenty one X-ray hotel contact Columbus approach. One two five point nine five. It's better than a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Twenty five ninety five. One X-ray hotel. Once we got up to cruising altitude, it was just time to sit back, relax, and wait until it was time to descend. Code 6650 level at 5000. That's the 1666 Victor, Columbus Brooks, maintain VFR, advise me of the weather, no fans for any alarm from. Thanks for VFR, we'll advise with the weather, no dub 
Columbia, Neil Armstrong traffic, Cessna 733 is upwind, runway 26, Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong traffic, Skyline 91484, 4 northeast, setting up for 45 upwind, 26, Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong traffic, 66 Victor is upwind, runway 26, Neil Armstrong. You had it, didn't you? You're like, <laughs> I gotta stay too safe. <laughs> let that go on, uh, on notice. Well, at least it's not Andy and 4-5 Victor. 4-5 <laughs> Victor, 4-5 Victor. <laughs> He's going to be flying a 737 with these and go, 4-5 uh, Victor. <laughs> Neil Armstrong, Cessna 733 turning downwind, 26. Neil Armstrong. 4-5 Victor, Star 198, thank the Sierra is clear of the action. Neil Armstrong, November 7, 644 Golf is uh, 11 miles to the east, inbound landing 26. Neil Armstrong. Well, this is, we're all getting here roughly the same time. Yeah, that actually worked out really good. Except for Jeff. Yes. We don't know where Jeff is. <laughs> Jeff is, Jeff is <laughs> MIA. Jeff was filling up when we left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Neil Armstrong traffic, 66 Victor, turning left crossing over the numbers 26. Neil Armstrong. I wonder why they, uh, they put the displacement hey, in there. Neil Armstrong, yeah, 6733. There's trees aren't that tall. No. Because if people have never seen Sky Park. Neil Armstrong traffic 91484 is upwind 26 New Armstrong. I know why. If they want to keep the planes high over the the town here. Oh, that makes sense. Neil Armstrong traffic 66 Victor turning left downwind 26 New Armstrong. Good, Rich. <laughs> Alright, Comfort Carp, you make sure his uh, fuel structure is on post tanks, you both are fast. Neil Armstrong traffic, Skyline 9144, it's an inlet cross lane over the numbers, 26. Neil Armstrong. I'll go and turn it, we're gonna have the headwind. Neil Armstrong traffic, 66 Victor, turning left base, 26. Neil Armstrong. And yeah, Neil Armstrong traffic, 733 is clear, active, 26. Neil Armstrong. Final square? Yep. Alright, headwind, I'm counting on you. <laughs> I will get down quick. Yep. Neil Armstrong traffic, 663, turning final, 26. Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong, 44, turn him up downwind, 26, Neil Armstrong. There he is. Hey, it's about time. Yeah. Nice looking short final there. Neil Armstrong, 44, turning left base, 26, Neil Armstrong. So we just landed about 20 miles an hour. <laughs> Say yeah. again? Hey, Rich didn't even make the first turn off. That's right. We did that with 20 degrees of flaps. Uh, yeah, I like 20 degree flaps. Yep. And they're smooth landings. And yes, they are. And just like that, with the power of general aviation, we are on the ground in Wapakoneta, ready to eat some food and tour the museum before heading back to Sky Park later that day. Remember, if you want to see what we did once we got there, be sure to check out the vlog. I'll put a link in the description. As always, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. You can also follow us on all of our social media by clicking the links down below in the description. And until next time, happy flying from Aviation for Life.